Welcome back to Riff Arcade, and we are playing 3 Super 3 Mario here today. Uh, we're in World 4! Going to the fortress. Spence has the controller. Take it away, Spence. Alright. He's little too. I am tiny. That means... Wait, what does that do? <laughs> it means... <Whoa>! <laughs> <laughs> it means you better watch your ass, is what that means. <laughs> Gotta remember how to play this. Uh... Yeah, it's the start of a brand new session. We're, uh... Look how much is side yeah, well, they literally come at you sideways. Woo. Excellent. And we're, uh, of course, World 4 is, like, giant world, which, man, I'm so glad this level is not giant. Oh, um, <laughs> oh, you know what? You know what, Flame? I see you. I see you Living faking me out fire. there. I, yeah. What dark magic does Bowser have? This little, uh, they're kind of cute, honestly. Like a little flame legs. They're like, I'm coming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm waiting for that. Do, 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 look at it. Do, do. Like, turn around and look at it. Okay, yeah. They're like oh, booze. They're, booze. Oh. they're like booze. Oh, okay. They're fire booze. They're fire booze. I wish this enemy. Oh, my God. Oh, dear. Well, <laughs> this is going to be one of those days. Oh, yeah. I feel like this game is the only game that has that enemy in it but I would love to see in like a brand new 3D Mario watch these cute little flames little legs slowly creeping up on you <laughs> gonna get you like I wonder if they're giggling too they're just like they're like children <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. now that I know that's how this works they burn Oh. All right. We're going to fast forward. Here, I'll we'll give it a second. Oh. <laughs> We're going to fast forward uh, so that way you guys don't have to watch us do three levels and we'll be right back. All right. We're back and I have the controller. <laughs> I have lost my Mario pilot license for today. I know. Yeah. You got a little like, like, no. Eh. Oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> Did you notice how I just stopped moving and just accepted my fate? <laughs> That's the real trick. And right back to where we were. <laughs> yeah, as I was saying, I'm glad this fortress isn't giant like the rest of Giant World, but uh, I don't know if you guys remember, but during one of the uh, Link to the Past episodes, I think, Butts and I were talking about our irrational fears, and one of mine was like things that are too big when they shouldn't be. <laughs> and so, um, That's irrational. Like if I saw... I don't know, like a mouse that was the size of a Doberman. I'd be like, oh, yeah. I'm scared of that. <laughs> yeah, like giant things by themselves don't freak me out, but like things that are like too giant. Oh boy. Uh, well, iframes. Take iframes. It, take it. Give it and take it away. <laughs> are we done? Are we done here? Oh, well, oh, almost. Right there. Oh, oh. <sighs> you just had to snuggle up close to him and be <laughs> like, did. I love you. That I certainly did. Hug me. All right, oh, we got a new bro. friend. All right. All right. Yeah, star him. Oh, yeah, star him. Yes. If we were experts, we would have just done that from the beginning. Well. Oh, no! Was... Oh, no! No! Oh, no! There! Okay. <laughs> like, Run, get him! Ooh. What are you doing? Oh, we are struggling. <laughs> <laughs> we are not warm. We did not warm up before this. No, we did not. Came in cold. But, yeah, my rational fears were, like, giant freaky-looking eyeballs and uh, things that are giant when they ought not be. And I think Bud's yours was like humanoid. Oh gosh! Oh, no. Yours was like trees that turned into humans. Yeah, like tree people. Tree people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I don't think Spence. I don't think we've ever covered like any weird fears you have. Um. Well, definitely like the things that are bigger than they should be. I would put that on my list as well. I'm trying to think of like an animal. Uh, well, obviously, you know, anyone who's played Fallout out there, um, the <laughs> rad roaches, if I saw an actual, oh, yeah. like, roach that size, that would definitely freak me out. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, gosh. Yeah. <clears throat> so, <laughs> yes, you can put that on my list as, oh, take it. He wants to hug there you. He's like, mm -hmm. come here. That, you was, little that was planned. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, like, bugs don't freak me out, but if it's, like, a teeny tiny bug that's, like, this big, yes. I would be... Which is the opposite of how you are with food. You hate food that is big, <laughs> that has become small. And you hate animals that are well, small I'm, that become big. I'm afraid of small things that are too big. 
I don't understand the point of things that were big and made tiny. <laughs> like sliders and chicken wings. I'm like, I'll just eat a hamburger and a drumstick. Like, like, why? Why can I not go? I can go to any restaurant. Not any restaurant. I could go to any oh, restaurant and order little tiny pieces of chicken dunked in buffalo sauce. But there is not a single restaurant I can go to where they've taken a fried drumstick and dunked it in barbecue sauce. Like, give me that. Like That's what I want. Like a chicken breast dunked in wing sauce. Oh, come on. You got it. You got it. You got it. it. Oh, nice. Sorry, I blacked out for a second. What's happening? Yeah, you raged. Black <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that we were in the big world. So we're in, yeah, we're in giant water now. Which, uh, now we're talking, like, fish that are too big when they ought not be. Is I'm okay cold? with the fish being too big, especially if it's an edible one. Always a big fish. Mm. Like, a giant catfish? Yeah, I would I, love well, that. I, I hadn't thought about that. I don't know about um, a giant catfish. Like, I just, I don't trust catfish. Oh, man. Uh, catfish, like one wily. of my favorite... Uh, <laughs> catfish are wily. One of my favorite fish to eat, at least. So, like, the Mega oh, Man boss done, Volt nice. catfish. I took the short run. You yeah! got the three! <laughs> <laughs> Apparently it was not warming up. Like, this is three. We got the five up. I went from freezing cold to instantly <laughs> yeah, yeah. hot. Mm. Fire. Very nice. Okay. Should I go to... Yeah, I go to the mushroom. Go. Bought us a couple totally lifelines there. All right. What do I do? But Smith, do you have any... Is there anything that's just like... Weird. Like cotton balls. Like I know someone who's afraid of cotton balls. Uh, hmm. I don't. If you gave me a couple of minutes to think about it, I'd probably think if there was anything weird that um, I could think of smells that that would weird me out faster than than things. So I'll tell you one irrational smell that I don't like, and that's the smell of um, like malt vinegar. Like just having a bottle of malt vinegar open in a room. Um, bothers me because there was a store that uh, oh my family and I used oh to go to oh when I was a kid <laughs> and I I don't know if they made their own malt vinegar there or if they just sold a lot of malt vinegar but when you would go in that store the smell of it was so pungent hmm. that it made me throw up as a kid oh. um, and I've never really had a like <laughs> for malt vinegar go. since the irony is, is that recently on my trip to Las Vegas, I had malt vinegar again out of curiosity with fish and chips. Now I'm a fan of malt vinegar, despite the smell. Hmm. Ah! Oh, you gotta just get... like many things in life, you just kind of power through the smell and you enjoy it anyway. <laughs> yeah. I don't like this level. Yeah, the, it's because it's too big, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And all those lives from the last level are gone. You know, um, that's interesting. Um, what's the P-Wing do? Oh, uh, uh, unless you fly forever. Right, at the end of the level. Getting, uh, getting skunked would really suck because oh, then you can't you go anywhere. Button? Like you can't, you can't go like to your friend's house because then you're gonna smell the place up. Or what just happened. Or if you get skunked and then you go to your friend's house, they may be like, oh man, I didn't know you had some. Go ahead and bust it out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Butts, that item you just used, the cloud actually lets you move through a level. Oh, I didn't know that. And it's gone now. You, okay. <laughs> you put it on, went into the level, <laughs> died. And now it's gone. <laughs> well, pro tip. And it's gone. <laughs> yeah, it's gone. Get away. My, ah! uh, I'm trying to sneak under <laughs> This turtle is taking me out. That turtle. Yeah, like, I'm sure all of you folks at home, all of you Super Mario Brothers 3 super fans out there, died a little bit on the inside when <laughs> Buds nice. used the cloud and then went into the level. Uh, I know I did. Uh, <laughs> but this is an episode of Irrational Fear, so, That's you know, right. buckle up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's like, uh, it's not something I fear. But like, oh, even just, it's just one of those things that just gives me goosebumps even when I think about it. But like, oh, it's doing it now. So like, when I was a kid and like, you'd be eating like the cheap popsicles with like little wooden 
sticks mm -hmm. with like the our, joke oh, crap. on them. Yeah, wait, what? Like with some like sometimes they'd have like a little joke on the pop stick. Yeah, popsicle. yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna pause the episode, and, and I'll tell you about the thing that gives me goosebumps I from think. popsicles. All right, so we're back. Um, apparently, when I went to continue, we respawned on top of the card game. So, butts, hmm. if you could look up the. Oh. Look up what board of cards we're on, and we can sweep this now. That one? Yep. Sweet. <laughs> and then, it doesn't matter. Okay, pick that one. That one's 20. All right, so go down. Go to the right. That one? Yep. Okay, and done. Yeah. Awesome. We didn't cheat. All right, let me actually see what the damage is with the levels. Uh, let's see. We didn't cheat. We just performed a little uh, insider trading. Oh, no, 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 no. Wrong way. Yeah. <laughs> is that legal? That's legal, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's well, <laughs> depends on who you ask. Uh, anybody. No. No. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's not bad. We'll just redo this level. All right. Which we were going to do anyway. <laughs> All right. You could just skip that. Yeah, we'll we'll fast forward this to it. Actually, oh, it's going in the direction you're going, so that works. There you go. Yeah. Okay. I think the mushrooms would be bigger, too, because they're part of this world. I know, and then they should make Mario big. <laughs> it would just be a regular level. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they should make one where Mario's really big, and he's like, Crap, Let's go, yeah, Paisano! Yeah. <laughs> no, what, what they should do is put you in a giant level like this, and then, like, make a big fanfare of, like, We're gonna make you giant now! Here we go! And, like, magic swirls around Mario, and it's like, Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun! And then when the music's done and the scene's over, it cuts to just, like, He's in a regular looking level. Because <laughs> proportionally everything's yeah. the same size now. It just gets a like, Mario, we're gonna make you grow! And it's like he's he's two feet taller and that's it. Everything else is still massively giant. Yeah. <laughs> what the Okay, awesome. Oh, look at all the stuff we have. Now you're about five feet. I can keep that under wrap. One last cloud though. Alright, um, I know what? about the cloud. <laughs> now I know. I, I just, Everyone, like, let butts know. Like I popped it, and I was like, "What is this? I've. What does this do? Surely it'll, it'll give me something inside the level. I hope it wouldn't. Oh, it'll turn me into <laughs> <laughs> the, the Last of Us Fire Flower. Yeah. All right. So uh, the popsicles, right? Yes. So the thing oh, that right, gives me thing. goosebumps is. Uh, oh, I'm playing again, by the way. Uh, is when I think about like. Ooh. Oh, I thought I was gonna high frame through that. Um, but like, like when I was a kid, like biting on the popsicle and like pulling the wooden teeth through my teeth, like while I'm biting yeah. down, like, and it's like, <sighs> <laughs> you taste that popsicle more than the thing that was on the popsicle. I'm oh sure yeah. Used... Snuggle up close Boop. to it. There we go. Oh. Yep, that was the plan. That was the plan. And you got a star. <laughs> and I got a star for it. Technically, you did make a star, so yeah. Awesome. Oh, that was it? You just for spite? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right, Buds. Scream. <laughs> Hammer guy. He's already sad. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Ooh, I kind of wanted to, like, hit the R button and do the little float from, like... Oh, yes. All right. Oh. No! Oh, no! Come on, Mushroom. Come on, Mushroom. Okay. And eliminate this threat. And get past this threat. Perfect. That thing hurt me. Now I crouch. Why are they glowy? Oh. oh. oh they home. <laughs> you know what? I'm happy with the fire flower. We can move on. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I forgot these were in this game. Defying physics there. Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. Well, fire flower that thing. Yeah, I totally don't remember these. Aww. But it's only the glowing ones, I see. Yeah. Oh, what was that? Ooh, you got something up got there. Something oh, it's like there. a little vine. <gasps> oh! Oh! 
I think. What? Why was I still crouched? I don't know. I don't know. That was amazing. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. Ooh. You stand on the cloud and What's up boom. What's here? Oh. Ooh. Tanuki suit. Nice. Ah! <laughs> Is that the first? Ah! One? <laughs> Is that the first one we found in the game so far? It's the first one we found. Yeah. Ah! Oh. Oh, you have to hold down down. Ah! <laughs> Can't do it forever though. Nice. Ah, look at him. He's so cute. Okay. Okay, speaking of that statue, one profession that I do admire is the people who, um, like, pretend to be living statues, you know? Like, oh, on yeah. the... Oh, yeah. That is an admirable profession. <laughs> As There is no way in like hell there with fire, you would get me standing out there for three hours like this. Yeah, I couldn't do it. Like, there's no way I could make it three yeah. hours. And, and they have, like, controlled breathing and stuff, too. Yeah. Oh, it's insane. No way I could do that. We'll just add that Hello. to Mario's business card. Living yeah. statue. Among other things. Plumber, <laughs> living yeah. statue, princess rescue, arsonist. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Ghostbuster. Who's that? Yep. Dang it. That was like a star with an army helmet. Come Pilot. on. Animal control. After baths! <laughs> He's like wrangling reptiles and things. All right. Skydiver. Skydiver. Cosplayer. Cosplayer. Doctor. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> He's a doctor. He's a doctor. doctor. And Dr. a plumber. plumber. Yeah. That should be a show on Fox, Dr. Plumber. <laughs> He's a humanitarian. He'll clean up your throat and clean out your pipes. Is he still a doctor <laughs> and a plumber at that point? I don't know. <laughs> I'll keep the tanuki suit. Yeah, oh. We're gonna work on it. I mean, you can be invincible with that thing. Oh, Shit. come back, come back. Oh. <sighs> can you make Damn yourself... It. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what was the button to get the items up? Uh, uh, that one? Yep. There it is. That's the one. Uh, uh, just a leaf for me. Leaf sounds good. This is not the two. It's the... It's you know not. what? I know what you were saying. You were saying, give me the running start. Is that what you were saying? No, but you also... I didn't. I wasn't not saying that. <laughs> now what's in the... What's in the box? What's in the box? box? <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, oh, right in the marinara. Struggles. Oh, it is marinara. What if it? we? What if it was like boiling marinara? That's actually well, what it was. He's Italian. He shouldn't die from that. I know. He'd, he'd die like Terminator in Terminator 2. He just like thumbs up, up and yeah. goes down into the marinara. I need a vacation. <laughs> Leave the lasagna. Where's the calamari? <laughs> just go. Oh. Please. This barrel there is not good. <laughs> is it the controller, Spence? Are you, this I'm controller's gonna, broken. I'm gonna blame that one on the controller. Bam. Mom! We need a new controller! Brad broke the controller. Alright, Spence. You're on life. Zero. Oh, oh yeah. you killed, <laughs> killed the turtle, though. The undead turtle. There Ooh. you go! Ooh. Ooh, that was like, like barely my toe just like got <laughs> yeah. me up there, you know. Woo! I think there's a fire flower in there. That's fine. I don't know why, but that's just burned into my brain. Oh, I was very wrong. Oh, that <laughs> you cannot use. <laughs> you have to know. like run. Yeah, there you go. Oh, there's a Ooh, door. door. Uh, here's a little little glimpse into what pipe world this? that's coming up. Oh, by the way, I. We're not gonna do like the level warp thing because that it's nuts. Jump on it again and we'll. Yep, there you go. Well, close enough. <laughs> it's like a ghost platform. Yeah, like we're not gonna see this mechanic again for like several worlds. Ooh. All right, watch out for the. Then you gotta pick a pipe. Chunky guy. Pick a pipe, Paisano. Okay. Not bad. Bad. Not bad. <laughs> it's good. Very good. Oh, I would have gone back down. But and they didn't go in that pipe if you want to. Or just oh, you fall. Can... Or oh. fall. Keep falling. <laughs> You're sick. You're I forgot this was that kind of game. Yeah, I forgot. You go like, the world wraps around itself. Okay, so yeah, the light area. bulb is the one that changes. Exactly. Yes. I just now noticed that. I don't remember this at all. Like, I have no idea where, why the shortcut is here or where you're going to go. Light bulb. Um, maybe I'll go in the left one. Yeah, try the left one. If 
There you go. Oh, it's like, did he crash into then it? Maybe. Oh, yeah. Well, now that's going to loop loose. around to the pipe you were trying to get to a second ago. Oh. Yeah, what if it is just an endless loop? He's just, ah! <laughs> boom, 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 boom. It's Andy Dufresne there in the pipe. Yeah, I do really like that they they use the camera to kind of per, uh, portray that he's making the bend around the loop. That's always really cool. Like, I feel like this is just a level that appears later in the game. Oh, nice bits. Yeah! Expertly done. And that's it. That's that's the end of this area. Oh, you still got to fight? You see, yeah, still got to... And you're back in the boring dungeon. Oh. Well, hello. Any more? Hello, secret. Tanuki suits? Oh. Yes? Secret money. Can you go to the, the right? Uh-oh. Oh, I don't have time. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Yes! Give me one! Yes! Give me oh another! My. This is worth it! Yes! <laughs> this is worth it. All right. It only took 10 seconds. Let's see if you can still beat the level. You have 83 sort of seconds. Okay, yeah, you can do it. You can do it. You can absolutely do it. Oh, shit. Just jump. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, he's jumping. No! Oh, oh, that's okay. You you made it up. All right. On the next episode no. of Riff Arcade, uh, less about irrational fears and hopefully more Tanuki suits. See you then. <laughs>